Hello friends, I am Amir Anwar Nizami and today we are going to study the structural theories for the analysis of the laminated composite plates. So let's start. So we will see some important points that we have studied in the last lecture. So last in the last lecture we have studied that the thickness of a single lamina is often greater than 0.1 millimeter whereas the fiber diameter is 10 micron meter. So therefore the lamina thickness to fiber ratio is typically 10 of order 10. In a unidirectional composite the longitudinal strength or stiffness to transverse strength ratio can be altered by changing the volume of fraction of the fibers. So what we have seen in the last class that there was a fiber inserted like this so these are the fibers and the binding materials in which it is the fibers are filled are the matrix. So matrix are the binding materials whereas fibers are the reinforcement bar. So the main strength is in the fiber. So what it is stating the thickness of a single lamina, this is a single lamina. So is often greater than 0 0.1 millimeter. So the lamina thickness would be greater than 0 0.1 mm. Whereas fiber diameter is 10 micron meter. That the diameter of this fiber is approximately 10 micron meter. Micron meter. Means 10 to the power minus 6 meter or, or the order of 10 to the power minus 3 mm. So therefore the lamina thickness to fiber ratio is typically 10. So in a unidirectional composite the longitudinal strength to transverse strength ratio can be altered by changing the volume fraction of the fibers. If you change the volume fraction of the fibers then the strength would alternatively changed. So the longitudinal properties of unidirectional composites are controlled by fiber properties. So we can see that the unidirectional composites are controlled by fiber properties whereas transverse properties are matrix dominated. So here we have seen that in this direction the longitudinal fiber directions these are controlled by the fiber properties while in the transverse direction this direction or in this direction transfers to this direction these directions the laminate are controlled by the matrix. So in most engineering applications the transverse properties of the unidirectional composites are found to be unsatisfactory that is not satisfied because the main strength is in the direction of the fibers. So in the longitudinal fibers direction strength is much higher but in a lamina other than the fiber directions this is the fiber directions so it would be much stronger in this direction if we give the direction is one lamina direction and this direction is two and this direction is three then in one direction means fiber direction strength is high strength is higher 2 and 3 direction we know that in in the vertical 3 direction or the 2 direction the the fiber would 
not be in that direction so we can see that it is matrix dominated means the strength would be shared by the matrix only so it is matrix dominated so smaller strength smaller strength so this apparent limitation on the use of purely unidirectional composites is overcome by forming laminates from the unidirectional layers so therefore we can say that a single lamina is not suitable to use like a plate so therefore because we have seen that it is stronger in one direction in which the fibers are oriented and in the transfer to the uh, to the fiber direction we can see that strengths are much smaller and that is governed by the matrix only so therefore a single lamina is not used so this is apparent limitation on the use of the purely unidirectional composites so we can overcome by this by forming laminates from the unidirectional layer so what we do we use different lamina to make a composite plates complete plates so this one lamina two lamina third lamina and each lamina would be oriented in its own direction as per the required strength so it may be 45 degree or any degree related with the according x axis similarly the it first one so the second one may be in the another direction maybe it would be 90 degree with the x axis and similarly the third so we can alternatively change the orientation and get the desired strength so a laminate is formed from two or more lamina bonded together to act as an integral structural element so the lamina principal material directions are oriented in such a fashion so as to produce a structural element with the desired properties in all directions as i have discussed so a new material is obtained after the assemblage of the lamina which provides extremely well performance that that of the individual parts taken separately so laminates are pre, uh, are fabricated such that they act as a single layer materials so after combining the different lamina it becomes a laminate and it act as a single layer so it is a lamina 1 lamina 2 lamina 3 and it is it is bonded in such a way that it acts as a single unit which is called a laminate lamin net this complete so laminates are prefabricated such as they act as a single layer materials it act as a single layer materials the bond between the two lamina this lamina and this lamina so the bond between this lamina in a laminate is assumed to be perfect so we assume that this bond here is perfect that is infinitesimally thin and not shear deformable means no slipping of the lamina laminate and continuity of displacements across the bonds so now we will see the analysis of laminated composite plates as in the last lecture we have studied the anisotropic elastic equations so we have seen there the relations stress tensor that was related with the ei j k l into epsilon k l where it was at one elastic constants then it reduced to 56 elastic constants after symmetry due to strain strain symmetry then further it reduced to 36 after the symmetry due to stresses and then it reduced to 21 elastic constants when we have applied the thermodynamics first and second laws from there the strain energy as the st stresses was a function of the partial derivative of the strain energy with respect to strain so therefore we get the 21 elastic constant so from the symmetry from the thermodynamics principle and then from the material symmetry we got 
the 13 elastic constants as a monoclinic and then we got further reduced material symmetry and we got the nine elastic constants that was orthotropic orthotropic then further it reduced that the more than three axis of symmetry so we get reduced with the seven elastic constants that was transversely isotropic transversely isotropic and then further the elastic constants also reduced and it becomes two for the isotropic cases isotropic so we have seen in the last class the anisotropic elastic equations now today we will see the structural theories in the next next lecture we will see inshallah the analytic and computational methods so classification of the structural theories first one is the equivalent single layer theories and the second is the discrete layer theories so let's see so the in the single layer theory approach layers in laminated composites are assumed to be one equivalent single layer so here in this theory we assume a single layer for the whole laminates in the discrete theory approach each layer or each lamina is considered in the analysis each layer or we can say each lamina is considered in the analysis so equivalent single layer theories so the various equivalent single layer theories are developed yet so the most uh basic is the classical laminated plate theory then further advancement takes place and then developed the first order shear deformation theory then the higher order shear deformation theory refined plate theory quasi three dimensional theory and simple first order shear deformation theories and many more theories has been developed in the equivalent single layer theories so we will see one by one uh, each uh, all of all then in the discrete layer theories we can see the layer wise theory then the three dimensional exact analysis and the refined zigzag theory that in that in these analysis we see the layer by layer or each lamina we uh, see the functions so generally this refined zigzag theory is a two dimensional theory so it's a mixed up of equivalent single layer theories and the discrete layer theories so we will see this as a special case so layer wise theories it is the lamina by lamina analysis and 3d exact analysis is also layer by layer analysis or lamina by lamina analysis so for this lecture thank you